Hey, it's Harker from Play. Today, I'm going to show you how to create an interaction with pagination dots that lets a user track their progress as they scroll through a horizontal carousel. On my page, I have two stacks. The top stack is a horizontal carousel that has four large cards in it that the user can scroll through. The bottom stack has four pagination indicator dots. Each one will go to full opacity when the associated card in the horizontal carousel is in view. So I'm going to select that horizontal carousel and go into interactions mode. I'll add a scroll trigger. And the state can stay while scrolling because I want this to trigger at all times as I'm scrolling. And the direction can be any because this horizontal carousel only allows you to scroll horizontally. So that's all that will fire anyways. On this scroll trigger, you can add a loop children action or a logic node here. And this basically lets you select a stack and you can apply any associated actions to every single child in that stack. So the stack I'm gonna choose here is the indicators stack, which again has all of those dots at the bottom. We're gonna go through them one by one forward. So first, when I loop through this, it's going to run all the actions targeting indicator one then indicator two, then three, and then four. And just a note, because we're going to use the index value of these in a second here, indexes always start at zero. So the index value for indicator one in its parent stack, which is indicators here, is zero. For indicator two, it's one. Indicator three, it's two. And indicator four, it's three. On this loop children action, let's add a condition. And this is where we will determine whether the opacity of the indicator dot should be 100% because the associated card is in view or 20% because it's not in view. So the expression, the conditional expression that we'll want to enter here, we're going to target that loop children action right there. That's a selection. And then the property is going to be index. So as I said before, it's going to go through this one by one. The first time it runs through, it's going to be using that indicator one so this loop children dot index, the value will be zero. The next time it runs through, it'll be one, two, three. We're going to check if that value is equal to the card that's in view in the horizontal carousel that the user is actually scrolling through. So in this case, we will write self because then again, refers to whatever object the interaction is on, which is that horizontal carousel here. That's a selection. And the property is going to be scroll index X. So we can track the index of this. When this is true, we want to fire one action, and when it's false, we'll fire another action. The action that we'll, uh, that we'll do if it is true is going to be a set opacity action. And whenever you add an action onto any, anything after a loop child, it's going to automatically fill in the target here with loop children dot child. So similar to how we said loop children dot index first run through with indicator one, that is what is going to be called here. The target will be indicator one the first time it runs through, then indicator two, then three, and then four. The property here is, is already set opacity. And the value, we want it to be 100% because when the correct card is in view, we want that indicator dot to be at full strength 100%. Now I'm going to duplicate this using command D and drag this second set property action into the else section. So that means this set property action is going to fire if my condition is false. My target can say the same, property can say the same, but I want my value to go down to 20%. So it removes some of the opacity if this is not the card that's in view. And so now we can go ahead and test this out on our iOS device. As I scroll through, you can see all of those pagination dots are working exactly how we expected it. But just to make sure that everyone understands how our interaction worked, Let's just do a quick logic test. So I'm going to scroll to the second card in our horizontal carousel. So that means that scroll index X is one here. So this second part of our condition is going to be one. Now let's run through our loop children. Loop children dot index. It's first going to run through indicator one, which is that first dot there. That's index value is zero, which obviously does not equal one. So that means that this condition is false here. So it's going to set indicator one's opacity to 20%. 
Next, it'll go through the second object in the parent stack. So we have loop children dot index. That value here is going to be one and one does equal one. That means the condition is true. So for the second indicator dot, it's going to set the opacity to 100%, which we can see already happened there correctly. Now, the next one is indicator three. So that's index is two. Two does not equal one. So that means this condition is false. And we're gonna set the opacity of the third indicator dot to zero, or sorry, to 20%. And we'll do the exact same thing for the fourth dot. You can repeat this little test on the third indicator dot, the fourth indicator dot, any of these. And that is how you create pagination dots in Play 2.0. Thanks so much for watching this video.